And welcome back to Press X for Chromosomes, where it is time to uh, put Thomas to bed, maybe? No, Thomas just woke up. Did he? Yeah. Although, to be fair, I wouldn't blame him. <laughs> I have to go talk to a couple people. I woke up at, like, you know, oh. a normal time of, like... Were these here? The flower pots? Yeah. I don't remember. They said that. <laughs> I don't remember. I feel like those weren't there. But I woke up at like one thirty or something like I typically do. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, you know what? Because all the messages I had to answer and shit like that today, I was just like, I'm tired. I'm going to like take a nap again. Right. Yeah. yeah. And, like, and then I'll work on shit tomorrow. I don't think those window covers and plates were there. I have no recollection of anything. We're not here enough for me to. That's fair. Specifically remember shit. I wish they would just dust that one giant cobweb. I though. know. I'm like, that's outrageous of a cobweb. That's like a Halloween prop at this point. <laughs> right. I've never seen a cobweb that huge in my actual physical life. Like a real one. Oh, yeah, no. Spiderweb cobweb. I'm so relieved that creepy counselor left. So he did. Lucky thing. What's the matter, Thomas? Well, I hope that's the end of it. It's not. I hope so, too. Alright. Great. Now I need to find Muto. There's Martha. I don't think I need to talk to her. What's up, Piccolo, my guy? I know, I know I talked to Pluto, or Pluto, Muto. <laughs> Piccolo and Muto combine into one Pluto. <laughs> you like lottery? Yeah, no. You like gambling? Because uh, we're recording, so therefore I'm not playing the lotto. Because watching me reset the game several times is so exciting. Yeah, that's the only reason. Those are like the aspects on why like st st us streaming wouldn't be fun. Yeah, because we'd be doing that kind of shit. Oh. Also, I don't know how to entertain without breaks. Like, regular, like, sectioned breaks. Because after, like, at most, like, sometimes it's longer. But, like, at most, like, 20 to 30 minutes, we take a break. Yeah. In between episodes. And it's not, like, a long break, but still, like, a, you know. It's just a breather. A few minutes of me not uh, performing. Right. Not that I'm particularly performing, but still me, like... We're not presenting yeah. myself in a way that isn't me just sitting here, voiceless, playing a video game. Like me when I play fucking C tier. I'm like, what the fuck? At most. <laughs> right. Uh, no? I thought I had to talk to you. Who did I talk to? After the battle, go talk to Casio, get to the courtyard. Did I go get her? Did I go? No, I didn't go back to the courtyard after talking to Cecile. That's right. I went immediately to the left. Oh, shut up. I forgot about her. <laughs> Same, actually. Flowery. It would have been faster just to run. Uh, it's actually not terribly long. I like the, uh... Huh? Let's talk to Cecile again. Okay. Now back to what the guide has deemed a courtyard. After the cutscene, go have a rest. Just go have a rest. And then maybe if nothing triggers, go try to exit the area. Yeah. I hate how Thomas's chapters don't really seem to like line up properly. 
Because the guys have been pretty on par for everybody else, but Thomas is like fucking an enigma. Maybe it's because he's really optional to play. Maybe. But I'm like, why would... Like, it seems like it all culminates here, so like, why would he be optional? Right. Like, where else would there be, like, a cutscene to trigger, it feels like? Well, and, like, they're saying courtyard, which they've already established that the courtyard is up here. So I was like, try to leave instead, because it obviously isn't triggering. I, I'm trying to trigger it from this way to see if it's, like, a certain way you come in. Well, yeah, but we that's... already tried that, so that's why I was like, it's well, not gonna... Not after the rest. No, but it's, this game is both predictable and unpredictable. <laughs> And that's one of those things that is a little predictable about it. It's like, well, if it didn't work that one time, it's not going to work again. Man, I don't know. Um. Did you not go off to the right a little bit enough? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Master Thomas! I heard he was young, but he's nothing but a boy. Hey. Uh, can I help you? You must be Thomas, the master of Buddha Castle. I am. How can I be of service? Do you like fitness? Yeah, I love fitness. <laughs> Fitting this dick in your mouth. <laughs> Thomas is like, I'm underage. He's like, why would you ask me that? <laughs> I bring you news from the council. The first item concerns Durabum. Yeah. What? On behalf of Commander Chris Lightfellow, Salome Harris has taken up the prosecution of Counselor Dur We never oh. got his name, I realize. Yeah. Okay. Harris. <laughs> yeah, he, he's, his name's Harris because he harasses. Yeah, harass. Is the deputy commander of the Knights. The case is currently being reviewed. This is good news. Good news for all of us. They're also reviewing the alleged joint ownership of your lands and leasing rights for this land. See? I told you. There's nothing to be worried about. Well, I said it was under review. What do you mean there's nothing to be worried about? Plus, I relay a decision handed down by the castle. Thomas, master of Buddha Castle. Yes. Let me fucking finish. As of noon tomorrow, you, Thomas, shall be removed from your position as master of this castle. What? It means you're only the master until noon tomorrow. What? Why? Who says? I'm delivering the message, not the story behind it. <laughs> uh, but my father, that man, will come for you tomorrow at noon. You'd best get ready. You're going back to Vinay Del Zexe. Fucking Percival flicks a business <laughs> card at him if you want an attorney at law. <laughs> right? I can't. This castle needs me. Not anymore. We're proclaiming this common land as Zexan Federation territory. The council's made its decision. This can't be. This castle was given to me by my father. Thomas, your father, Counselor Loma, <laughs> has decided to disown you. He no longer recognizes you as his son. He's not my real dad! <laughs> Loma, these nuts. <laughs> I'm sorry. I like how it's Percival. Hey, Percival like, seems to have a soft too. spot for people. Yeah, he really does. For people in like need and like sad, like disowning things. Like, he yeah. really cares about family too. Killer no, with he, his mom. So. Yeah, no, exactly. He probably feels real bad about this. He's like, sorry, dude. My own if you father. need an attorney. <laughs> <laughs> Leo also is not really the. He's Leo's consistently the bad cop. 
So if Thomas is getting disowned, why is he going back to Vin Adel's ex way? To get the paperwork on being disowned, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> why can't he just stay here as one of them then? Yeah. One of us. One of <laughs> right? us. We're all a band of misfit toys here. Oh, God. They really are, though. They, no, they are. Not to worry. I'm here to ensure everyone's safety. No more wrinkled brows, okay? <laughs> Immediately fucking wrinkled brows. <laughs> Stock is cheap. Do you really think you can defeat all of those guys out there? She hulks the fuck out of her armor right. and he's like, oh, never mind. Thomas is taken away from her and she's just constantly berserked. She's like fucking actually stronger than like Juan. Yeah. So it's like, Juan, what the fuck are you talking about? She could single handedly break <laughs> your neck. Yeah. Um, I like how Thomas has been told Several times he's being removed as master of the castle. He's like just on an this emotional is, fucking roller coaster. Yeah, this is like a routine thing of you're no longer master of the castle. Okay, you are, but you know, I feel like you're no longer I master would, of the castle. You'd be super like, oh yeah, okay, yeah, sure, we'll wait five minutes yeah, before they is, reappoint me. This is why he's so apathetic. Yeah. Master, do you have any last minute ideas? You know, like not getting disowned by my dad, maybe. Right. <laughs> Why ask him? He won't be master much longer. We're running out of time and luck. <laughs> Works. Yeah, I was like, I got both of them. It just wasn't <laughs> correct. That's why I just went through with fucking time and luck. I was yep. like, I you know, missed one. We've got to revert to how things were. We'll have to sell our valuables to pay off our debts. Then we resume our simple, quiet lives. If this is going to be Zaxxon territory, they'll probably help us out with funding at least a little. Besides, we might get some rich kid as our next castle master. Jeez, Juan. Juan's proven to be a big dick. <laughs> yeah, Juan. I will slit your throat while you sleep. It's not going to be that easy. If you don't shut your mouth right now, I'll shut it for you. Thomas is the master of this castle. I wanted to stay that way. Just because he got a little kid crush on him. Right. Sorry. He's still the castle master. Until noon tomorrow. Then we'll talk shit about him. That's not what I meant. You know it, you piece of shit. Fuck. It's, it's okay, Cecile. Stop it. No. I'm going to tear his fucking throat out. <laughs> I won't. It's all right. We've worked together so hard to get this far. Let's not end it in a fight. Besides, I have other things to think about. Like, my dad disowning me. Yeah, I was like, they're just like, eh, whatever. Just skim by that shit. The right? castle! <laughs> and, huh? It's hard to imagine. I was salty, but now I've grown to like this kid. Yeah, she really fucking... You've been the least helpful of all grandmas. <laughs> Worst grandma in the world. No, that was my grandma. I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah no, she was. I, she was bad, but she wasn't terrible. She, I, I, I've seen bad grandmas. Yeah, like, she was she was petty, but she wasn't, like, abusive. She was petty. She was verbally abusive. I mean, hell. That's how my family. That's say, how yeah, my that's dad your, was probably a little verbally abusive. family, yeah. yeah. But fucking, like... Not and, just... and she was a little racist, but product of her time. Yeah. And, uh... And now she's dead, so. <laughs> Does it really matter? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I'll go to bed. After all, tomorrow I'll be homeless. And then Adel's ex say? Yeah, it's going to be like, spare chains for the poor. Yeah, I don't know why Thomas is going back to Vin Adel's ex Does he have cause... somebody lurking in his room, too? Maybe. Oh. I just can't sleep. I thought that's what that angle over there was. No, it it was a really weird angle. I think I might have seen the suit of armors. Oh. Heaven? Finally. The light at the it end of the That does like look the light that you go into in Journey. See, and I was going to say it kind of looks like one of the crystals from uh, Final Fantasy. Yeah, that too. I was going to say the Japanese all have one fucking uh, thought. When it comes to what things should look like. But right. then I realize Journey isn't inherently Japanese. Right. 
Mr. Sebastian, what are you doing at this hour? Oh, hello, Thomas. I hope I didn't wake you. Well, you fucking did. I couldn't sleep anyway. What are you up to? Turn into me, Thomas. I was just preparing the journal for you to make your entry. With all this fighting, I just haven't been on top of it. Journal? I'm leaving tomorrow, so why do you have to do that? Uh, good question. One never knows, does one? Tomorrow's another day and all that. Huh? Never mind. So, uh, I still have some work left to do. Cool. S swell. Neat. Oh, yeah, okay. no fucking Eric, like, discovered how light I sleep today. Because oh, yeah? I was taking a nap in my room, and then he opened my door a little bit. Uh... After he finished streaming, and fucking, I immediately woke up Aww. or whatever, and he was like, he was like, and it was, he was like, your door like creeped like a very quiet little bit, and you right. instant woke up. He's like, I didn't realize that's how light of a sleeper you were. I was like, yeah, yeah, that's why like anything wakes me up. That's right. why I get super complaining about fucking. Basically, I mean, if you exist, I hear you, and it fucking right. sucks for me. <laughs> Meanwhile, like, my mom had forgotten her phone downstairs one day, mm -hmm. and I had noticed it. So I was like, okay, you know, I'll just put it on her nightstand because mm -hmm. her f they don't have alarm clocks. Their phones are their alarm clocks. Oh, okay, yeah. So first I checked the battery and the battery's fine. So I was like, it's going to last until morning. Mm -hmm. So like I crept upstairs and I very lightly knocked on the door, not to wake them up, but just so Molly wouldn't go fucking nuts when I went into her Oh, room. yeah. So like I cracked up on the door and went, Molly. You know, just to, like, get her attention that it's mm -hmm. me. Yeah. And then so, like, I opened the door, and Molly is just laying between their legs, staring <laughs> at me. Not blinking, staring <laughs> right at me. And I, like, slowly, very quietly, as quiet as fucking possible, I snuck over to my parents' bed, put down the phone, completely expecting one of them to wake up and be uh -huh. like, what are you doing in our room? Just being like, oh, I forgot her phone downstairs. Yeah. yeah that's it. And then, like, I slowly sort of sneaking back out. And I, like, turned around to grab the door to shut it as quietly as I could. And Molly was still just zoned in, like, <laughs> homed in, like, fucking seeking missiles, staring, like, dead at me. And I'm like, I'm going to kill you in the Yeah, future. I'm like, this is a little terrifying. And I shut the door. <laughs> Dogs are creepy like that, dude. Like, cat won't stare at you like that. Eventually, it'll look away. Yeah. Like, Molly, she's fucking cute as shit when she wants to be. But, like, that, I was like, I'm legitimately terrified. <laughs> like, that you're a guard dog. <laughs> yeah, now, like. Right in the second. Like, I'm not so scared of Molly. Like, if she were to suddenly start just, like, attacking me, I would kick her immediately in the oh, ribs. Yeah. Because she's a small enough dog. Like, yeah. I will do more damage to her. Yeah. But still, I was like, you're unsettling. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is not a okay. A little creepy, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, Thomas, I'm fixing the wall here. If we're going to fight again. Ludo, don't worry. All this will end when I leave the castle. You all go back to your normal lives. You mean you want to leave? No. Of course not. See, I knew you were staying. Gotta fix these walls. You'd better go to bed right away. You wouldn't want to catch cold. This is also the most we've seen of Mudo ever. It really is. Uh, right. Sure. Also, just like a fucking dog. You're staying, right? Yeah. Burp, burp, burp. I don't, I don't have a concept of fucking leave. Right. Oh, okay. I shouldn't be wandering around in yeah, the yeah, yeah. The creepers come out I know night. I have at least two people to talk to maybe ike yeah that's that was exactly where i was gonna go what if it was just like we turned and found ike and he was blue haired and had a sword called ragnow and you're like oh no that ike <laughs> <laughs> you're working awfully late ike researching something yes what if his name is technically pronounced eek, eek. Yeah. Are you e Ike? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? I'm looking into this common land issue. Why now? Isn't it too late now? I always finish what I start. Very thorough. Best of luck. Thank you very much. Sorry, what? <laughs> 
Uh, you're welcome. No one praises me. I appreciate it. <laughs> Why you talk so soft? I blew out my vocal cords as a kid. Oh, <laughs> it's not like sense. library shit. No, it's all of that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Seal, what are you doing at this hour? Um, Thomas, there was something I wanted to ask you. Will you marry me? Well, can we have babies together? And he's like, I'm 17. I feel like this is like the more proper of like a childhood, like crush and that kind of stuff where like they're very focused on each other. But they don't. Take notes, Stranger Things. Stop making fucking adult romances for kids for adults. Yeah. It's weird. Like, this feels more like a childhood, like crush romance. Type yeah, deal it feels natural for yeah. the most part. I'm like, exactly. So, what did you want to ask me? <laughs> it was like, I like him, but I don't know what to yeah. do. I'm gonna be very defensive of him and always get so excited when he talks to me and touches I might be, me. Yes. And I might also be an asshole towards him too, because right. yeah, emotions get weird. Right. Do you honestly plan on surrendering your title here? What choice do I have? Lots. Like marrying me. It's not a voluntary decision. I'd do anything to stay here, but... But... But it's already been decided that I'm not going to be the castle master, so... I won't have anything to do with you or the Zexan Federation. Then why... Did you become the master of this castle in the first place? Wasn't it your choice to come here? It was my mother's wish. Cecile. Did you come here for us? I mean, not you guys, but I wish. Before I came here, I'd never heard of Buddha Castle. I was actually forced to become the castle master here, and I wasn't too happy about it. Wh- why wouldn't you want to come here? Do you I- see this shit, hole? <laughs> I was happy living with my mother in the northern outlands, but she died about three months before I came here. There was no one left to watch over me, so from her deathbed, she confessed who my real father was. He was the guild master of all Zexan Federation's merchant guilds. <laughs> Peeking around the corner. <laughs> she told me to go tell the council who I was so I'd be assured a decent life. That's why I came to the Zexan Federation. I could have survived in the Outlands, but I wanted to see my father's face just once. Can you blame me? Uh, well, my mother told me to come here with this letter. Oh, yes, I remember something about that. So you finally made it, eh? Oh, y'all, I'm uh, Canadian. <laughs> come to think of it, I know of a castle without a master. What was the name of it? Oh, never mind. I'll think of it and make it the arrangements. I'll point you the master of the castle. You won't be any trouble there. M- master of a castle? Once I finish the arrangements, could you leave Vene Dilzexe immediately? It wouldn't be good for you to wander about here. Uh, yeah, sure. Well, this gets rid of two problems at once. How fortunate. Oh. So where are they going to take Thomas? Are Leo and Principal just going to take Thomas to, like, the knights and just train him to be a knight? Do you want to be a knight, son? (laughs) (laughs) My father wasn't too happy to see me. He wanted me as far from Vinny Del Zexay as possible. Well, yeah, you you bring up a lot of issues for him, potentially. (laughs) Well, by the way, then, to make me master of a remote castle, I had no idea what to do, and I still don't. I can't live up to your expectations. Sure you can. Thomas. You can do no wrong, because I got a bit of a crush on you. And I'm like an understanding child. She, yeah. Oh, thank you. Birds chirping. Let it's morning. It's morning. Yeah. And also. Good. Time. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say good place to stop. Yeah. But I was like, also, I was like, I thought you were trying to show me something in the room. So that's why I was like. Oh, no, I'm just running in a circle. Yeah, so I was like, crop circles moving. in the circle. I thought there was like new <laughs> space there too. No. I was like, <laughs> Sorry. I, it's cluttery enough that I can't tell. <laughs> All right. Good place to stop. So I'll catch you guys on the next episode of There Might Be New Space Elsewhere. Maybe. So until then. Bye.